Hi everybody, this is Alex with You Had Me at Craft, and today I'm just going to finish up this part two of my birthday party series. I went ahead and decided to make an envelope after all for the cute little card that I just showed you, and I'm going to be using my Martha Stewart scoreboard. So let me just show you if you haven't, if you don't have one, there's a lot of videos on how to use it, but I thought I'd show you what I did. Um, what I decided to do was use a coordinating piece of cardstock. Is some measurements here. My card was a strange size, so I decided to just make a card that was large enough to accommodate the birthday card that I made for my granddaughter. In this case, it would be six by six. Right here, it has um, instructions for envelopes. If I wanna make a six inch square, I need to start off with a 10 by 10 piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this 10 by this 12 by 12 down to 10 so by 10. So I cut it down to a 10 by 10 size. Now following the directions as it says, you put this triangle here so that it basically flips, flips your paper at a nine, at 90 degrees. So it says right here, starting with a 10 by 10 square sheet of paper, I'm going to score at 3 and 3 quarters at the A line and at the B line. In this case, all the way around because it's square equal on all sides. Okay, so I'm going to position my corner of my paper right here, like that. Oh, my husband's working outside. I hope you can't hear. He's like banging out there. <laughs> hope you can't hear that. Anyway, let's just move on. So three and three quarter inches. So we have three one, two, three quarters. And you use your tool to press down. And with this paper is pretty thick, so I'm gonna go twice. Then flip it around and do the same thing on all sides. Three and three quarters. And I'm gonna use this tool that I score with to get some really nice Okay, creases. so this all folds up this way, but it's a little bulky with these corner ends that you don't need. So just using what I use is just a pair of scissors. Okay, so that is now going to fold up like a lot nicer. So you're gonna bring the bottom fold up, the side folds in, and then you would insert your card this I way. wanted to do something cute for like a seal, and then of course I would address the outside. So what I did was taking some scrap paper right here. and using my PSA Essential stamp that I already have a monogram C, uh, stamp inside. I'm going to go ahead and stamp out a C. Look at that, we got that on the first try. I'm going to punch that out using a one and three quarter inch Fiskars punch. I never can say that right. Fiskars. 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 It's Fiskars. Okay. The only thing I don't like about the Fiskars punch is that tend to really have to put your your stamp way off to the you can't go too deep on the paper I guess is what I'm trying to say so I punch that out <laughs> this is funny video. my husband is like banging on something out in the garage and I can totally hear it Okay, well, let's just keep on crafting because what else will we do, right? All right, I'm going to take um, this two-inch EK Success punch and get a nice big circle using this leftover paper. I love this paper. Luckily, I had three... Um, three whole sheets of this paper that I could use for these projects for my granddaughter's birthday. I am going to take 
my ATG. And I, if I was going to send this in the mail, I'm going to go ahead and put a lot of glue on this, okay? My husband is making so much noise in the garage. <laughs> He's banging something, and I don't know what it is. But I just got to get this video finished for you guys. <laughs> anyway, okay, so here is my envelope, okay? So let's go ahead and glue it together. The way that I like to do it is I like to go ahead and put adhesive on this side, bring it in, and then adhesive on the very opposite <laughs> side. <laughs> okay, so that is glued down. I could put my, my card in there, and then I would do the same thing to seal it shut. And now if you're going to put anything um, valuable in the card, not only would I put adhesive on the top flap to close it, but I always like to just put tape also just to make sure that, you know, if anybody's trying to steal birthday presents, they're going to have a more difficult time. And then what I did is I put a lot of adhesive, a lot of ATG on the back. I won't do it now because I may use this. Um, this envelope because it came out pretty nice um, and then I would just use it as a decorative seal on my envelope so do you see how cute that looks and um, I really love using these PSA essential um, monograms they add a little personal touch to them okay thanks for watching bye